In this video, I'll discuss asset removal and storage media sanitization. Sanitization in this context deals with ensuring that there are no data remnants left behind when we remove data. So when a file is deleted, we need to make sure that it stays deleted and really is in fact deleted and not recoverable. When a data record in a database is deleted in the same way, we need to make sure that it stays deleted and cannot be recovered. But at the same time, what about when we transmit data? We might want to make sure that if we're transmitting sensitive information like credit card numbers, that they are fully deleted and not resident in memory when no longer needed. The cloud service consumer must be aware of the cloud service provider's deletion policy and mechanisms. As a cloud service consumer, you may not be responsible for the erasure of data. So non-sensitive data versus sensitive data would have different needs in terms of sanitization. So one question we should ask ourselves is, how does the cloud service provider manage deletion? If this isn't posted in their documentation, then we would talk to one of their customer service representatives to find out. Is the deletion audited? And are deletion audit reports available to us, the customer? Media sanitization is the process where the data is irreversibly removed from the media or the media itself is permanently destroyed. In some cases, it could be to the point where physical disks get drilled or cut up. There are some issues that we should consider related to storage media sanitization. As a cloud service consumer, you won't be responsible for the erasure or destruction of the devices that previously stored your data because that physical equipment is not under your control. It's under the control of the cloud service provider. But then think about what would happen if we change our cloud service provider. How can we guarantee that our data doesn't still reside on the old cloud service provider's hardware? In some cases, you might not be able to get that guarantee. It depends on the provider. When a cloud service provider destroys, wipes, or discards a storage device, how can you be sure that your private data does not still reside on the device? There are utilities out there that we can use to wipe disks. The standard old school format tool only creates a new file allocation table and root file system table. All previous data is still on the disk and is recoverable. There are utilities out there that might be considered acceptable by various government bodies or various institutions that can be used. If your cloud service provider doesn't support secure sanitization, then you might not be able to use them for some aspects of your needs. There are some additional storage media sanitation issues related to the fact that as a consumer, you should recognize that data categorization might also play a part in the cloud service providers data and media storage policies. They might have different levels of data storage. In other words, data gets flagged with metadata and based on those tags will determine how it gets deleted or how long it gets retained. We should also ask ourselves, does the cloud service provider utilize self encrypting drives or cryptographic erase? Cryptographic erase means that devices would use a randomly generated encryption key that is stored separately from the encrypted data. Cryptographic erase itself is the process of knowingly erasing the media that stored the encryption and decryption keys. Now this means that we don't have a key to decrypt data anymore. So the ciphertext would remain on the media device, but it's effectively sanitized because there are no keys that can decrypt it, not even available to us. So this would have no value to a hacker and it is a form of sanitization. Even where a cloud service provider might deploy cryptographic erase, legislation that affects our business might still require that a media device is physically destroyed in order to be deemed acceptably sanitized. NIST has special publication 800-88 revision 1 that deals with the destruction of media. Here, it deals with how data gets removed so that there are no artifacts or data remnants that can be retrieved by other parties. In this video, we discussed asset removal and storage media sanitization 